On 27 March 1999, three days after the start of the NATO bombing of Yugoslavia, the United States sent in their top secret stealth bomber, the F-117 Nighthawk, on a bombing mission. As a track record, the F-117 has never been detected or taken out by any air defense systems in the world. Moreover, the Yugoslavian army had outdated Soviet air defense systems. So it should have been a cakewalk mission for the F-117. But unknown to the Americans, the F-117 was being tracked right from its takeoff. When the stealth bomber reached the outskirts of Belgrade, it was hit by a surface-to-air missile and was blown out of the sky. The Americans could not believe this. How did this happen? How did the Yugoslavian army, using outdated radar systems, track and hit the invincible F-117? By the 1970s, the Soviet's radar and air defense systems have become so advanced that any US aircraft entering the Soviet airspace would be shot down in minutes. It was at this time the Lockheed Martin came up with the Havblu concept aircraft. The Havblu was the first fixed-wing aircraft to be designed by radar engineering rather than aerospace engineering. The aircraft's strange shape was designed in such a way to deflect the incoming radar waves away from the radar receiver. This greatly reduced the radar cross-section. This design was nicknamed the Hopeless Diamond. The Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia was a communist country that existed from 1945 to 1992. Its capital was Belgrade. After 1992, it disintegrated into six constituent republics. Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, Macedonia and Serbia. Serbia, being the largest republic, considered itself as a successor to the former Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, but the UN did not accept it. Belgrade is situated in Serbia. Kosovo was a region within Serbia with a large Muslim population. Soon militants in Kosovo revolted against the Serbian government. The harsh military response from Serbia on Kosovo prompted NATO intervention. On 24th March 1999, NATO launched Operation Allied Force. It was an aerial bombing campaign against Serbia. The goal was to evict all Serbian military, police and paramilitary forces from the disputed territory of Kosovo. The campaign involved more than 1,000 aircraft operating from air bases in Italy and Germany and the aircraft carrier USS Theodore Roosevelt sailing in the Adriatic Sea. On 24th March 1900 hours, F-18 Hornets of the Spanish Air Force began to bomb Belgrade and perform seed operations. It was followed by a barrage of Tomahawk cruise missiles fired from ships and submarines in the Adriatic Sea. NATO bombed vital strategic and economic targets such as bridges, factories, military and government facilities. NATO also targeted electrical installations, water processing plants and the state-owned broadcaster buildings. Within three days, NATO had destroyed almost all of Serbia's strategic military assets. But the Serbian army continued to function. The Serbian army was equipped with a version of Soviet S-125 Neva missile system. These were short-range missiles with an operation range of 35 km and can fly at Mark III speed. The missile detonated by a proximity fuse and is guided by a radar on the ground. This system is old and is not capable of tracking stealth planes like the F-117. Lieutenant Colonel Zoltan Dani was commanding the 3rd Battalion of the 250th Air Defense Missile Brigade. Dani's team usually would switch on the radar and scan the skies for a few seconds only. This was done to avoid being detected by NATO aircrafts who in turn would fire anti-radar missiles onto their location. The F-117 is purely built to be a stealth bomber meaning its job was to simply penetrate the enemy airspace, deliver the bomb payload and return. It does not carry radar or missiles needed for a dogfight. If detected, it will be simply shot down. It was a standard operating procedure for the F-117 to be accompanied by electronic warfare aircraft EA-6V Prowler. This aircraft would detect and jam the enemy's radar. So even if the F-117 was detected by the Serbian radars, they would not be able to launch the surface-to-air missiles as their tracking radar would be jammed by the EA-6B Prowler. The Prowlers were so effective that for the entire 78 days of Operation Allied Force, NATO flew more than 38,000 air sorties and lost only two aircrafts to enemy fire. On 27 March 1999, an F-117 with a call sign Vega 31 took off from Aviano Air Base in Italy to bomb a military target in Belgrade. The pilot was Lieutenant Colonel Darrell Patrick, nicknamed Zeko. 
Unknown to the Americans, the spies near the airbase spotted the F-117 taking off and alerted the Serbian army. Also due to bad weather, the EA-6B Prowler, which usually accompanies the F-117, was grounded. This information was also relayed back by the spies. Moreover, the Americans were so lethargic that they took the same route taken in the previous F-117 missions. Using this valuable intel info, Lieutenant Colonel Danny and his team now confidently switched on the radar and using his low-frequency radio waves began looking for the F-117. The F-117 was quickly detected by the P-18 early warning radar as soon as it entered the Serbian airspace. Danny's team detected the F-117 but was not able to get the radar lock. But as soon as the F-117 opened its bomb bay, radar lock was achieved. The Serbs fired two missiles at the F-117. The first missile flew right by the aircraft, passing overhead, a close miss. The second missile detonated in close proximity of the F-117. The explosion was large enough to be seen from a KC-135 Stratotanker flying over Bosnia. The F-117 began to disintegrate and was going down. The pilot Daryl Patrick somehow ejected and he also used his survival radio to issue a mayday call and was able to contact the KC-135 that had seen him being shot down. Daryl Patrick landed in a four-lane highway about a mile from his aircraft's crash site. He quickly concealed himself in a drainage ditch nearby. An intensive search of the area was carried out by Serbian soldiers, policemen and local villagers. At one point, the search party came within a few hundred meters of the ditch he was hiding. Daryl Patrick was rescued approximately eight hours later by a US Air Force combat search and rescue team flying in their two Sirkosi MH-53 helicopters. The United States did not attempt to destroy the wreckage of the F-117, surprising many analysts and pilots. The F-117 was based on the 1970s technology, and even if Serbia gave the wreckage to Russia, the result would be minimal. Zoltan Dani, now running a bakery, and Daryl Patrick, now retired from the US Air Force, met in 2011. They have since developed a friendship. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.